What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Deathcon3000 bringing you some Homefront on the PS3. I actually haven't played this game in a while. Um, it's been kind of just set back, uh, collecting dust along with Medal of Honor and Battlefield Bad Company 2. And I haven't got any requests to play any of these games. Um, I actually haven't played these games that much. But what is weird is, is I put this game in today and it had a new update. And when I played this game before, I had tons of shit unlocked. But all of a sudden, I don't know if they reset the servers or what, but it kind of pissed me off. Because I lost all of my shit, what the fuck? But anyways, um, you see I'm rocking the, I guess it is like the M4 on Homefront. And uh, my channel hasn't been up long enough uh, to do a review on this game or when this game came out. So I'm going to do a late review on it and tell you what I think about it. I think it is the best first person shooter compared to Call of Duty. That's my opinion. Um, I've played just about all of them. Medal of Honor, Battlefield, Bad Company. Um, but this um, is the closest as far as frame rate. Well, it's not really close as far as frame rate because we all know that Call of Duty and it's 60 frames per second. And I'm fixing to get into that. The PS3 compared to the Xbox 360. There's some news today. It really pisses me off, but I'm not really surprised being a PS3 owner myself that they neglected, Treyarch neglected the PS3 as far as Black Ops goes. And you've heard me talk about it before, that the game runs a whole lot better on the Xbox 360. Well, um, it's a fact with Black Ops also. Uh, so you guys that own the Xbox 360, you win again. No, it's not about a winning or losing battle, um, but it's just how Activision or whoever Treyarch... Um, they just really neglect the games for PS3. They're always made for the Xbox 360 first, instead of putting quality into both systems. And I don't like one system over the other. Uh, let me let you know right now. Um, I got both systems, and I like both uh, Xbox 360, and I like the PS3. The, they're both really good systems. So I have nothing bad to say about either of them. Um, just the only reason why I play the PS3 more is because I'm better at the controls. Um, I can get used to the Xbox 360 controller, but I just don't like it as much. I guess it's just what you like, right? So anyways, um, go back to Homefront and my rage, and I'll talk a little bit more about the PS3 and Xbox 3 um, situation here in a minute. And I'm going to put in the link below the article on it, proof on how... Black Ops for the PS3 runs like at 30 frames per second compared to 60 on the Xbox. That's right. Um, it's ridiculous um, compared to the new map packs that come out. I mean, the proof's in the pudding, and I'll put the link if you want to read the article and watch the video. It's actually a video about it yourself. Um, for you PS3 owners, it's probably going to piss you off. You're going to be like, what the hell? Um, but, uh, maybe they'll do it different with Modern Warfare 3. Um, I doubt it, but we'll just have to see. So, enough of raging about, uh, the PS3 and Xbox 360, and I don't want to get a, no console war started. But Homefront, um, really enjoyable game. I played it all morning along with Medal of Honor because I'm really tired of Black Ops, and I just could not get a fucking game on neither. I couldn't get a good game on either game. Uh, neither Homefront or Medal of Honor. Um, I was getting my ass raped all morning, and uh, that didn't sound good. Um, but y'all, you subscribers know about getting ass raped, don't you? <laughs> Anyways, um, no, I just couldn't get a good game, and this is the best game I got. It ain't too bad. I didn't get a lot of kill streaks and whatnot. Not gonna spoil the score. Not a great score, but hey, my channel's not about great scores. It's about just uh, running and gunning and enjoying the game and playing. So, uh, you see, I'm rocking the some kind of red dot sight on this damn thing and you see in the bottom right corner I mean you can pick flak jacket or you can switch to your it's kinda like a anti-tank missile I mean you can switch that in the armory which is kinda like it's kinda like what black ops has so if you haven't never played this game um, to make it you know understandable to you you can go to the armory and you can switch your perks out um, you can switch your sights on your gun. Of course, there's not near as much, what do you call it, um, options as there is in Black Ops. Um, watch this. 
This motherfucking ghost. There's ghost bitches in home front too. <laughs> Absolute fail on my part. Um, but this game's pretty cool because as you go along, um, you get like stuff like Humvees and and tanks and um, this actually is a really really fun game. And but I have call me a Call of Duty fanboy, but I have a bad what do you call it? Uh. A bad habit of laying down any other game except for Call of Duty. Call of Duty fanboy, I'm guilty of it. Um, I really like Call of Duty in the arcade style type of gameplay and the rush, rushing st style of gameplay. That's pretty much why I did this video. Um, do something different on my channel for one. But I wanted to talk about the frame rate and all that stuff that's going on with the PS3 and Xbox 360. Um, might not surprise a lot of you, some of you might already know, but it, uh, it's really shitty, man, it really is, uh, you know, we're just, I'm just hoping, and I'm sure all the PS3 players are hoping that, P uh, Modern Warfare 3 is not gonna be the same, please, don't put the game out if it's not ready for both systems, uh, make it enjoyable for, you know, it is is going to be enjoyable regardless for both systems. But you know, it'd be nice, you know, if we didn't have the hit detection issues uh, and all that more than what the Xbox 360 has. But um, you know, hey, that's the way it is, and that's why I own the Xbox 360 also. So, anyways, you see vehicles flying everywhere, and I get crazy here at the end of the game because I jump in vehicles myself. Um, I don't. As you go along, you get more points in this game, so um, you kind of build your points up. That's the best way I can explain it. You see right above on the bottom right-hand side, um, you see the little 580 BP or whatever. Well, that builds up. The more points you get, um, the more stuff you get to unlock and use throughout the game, kind of like kill streaks. Um, you get stuff like team support actions like UAVs if you use that it actually gives you extra points and then you have more points there's another motherfucker camping god damn motherfucker anyways uh you sound you heard the country come out of me and uh even though I'm not country at all even though I live out and uh what most people would say yonder um I'm far from country at all I dread I do not wear cowboy boots I do not wear belt buckles um I dress like I'm from the city. Um, I wear a lot of Echo clothes, if you know what that is. Uh, I don't have one around where I'm. I live at. Um, when I get Echo clothes, I have to go to Nashville. Um, this trip I took here recently, I went to Chicago, and they had this huge Echo outlet, and I just absolutely love their clothes. They're freaking awesome, and I wear American Eagle and shit like that. But I don't know why I'm getting off on the subject about what what, what kind of clothes I wear, but. I guess it tells you a little bit more about me. So you see, I'm driving around my Humvee, and um, you press triangle to switch between the gun. And um, the vehicles in this game, uh, I have to say, are really balanced out. Um, versus, in my opinion, Battlefield Bad Company 2, um, they're way more overpowered, just in my opinion, even though everybody says Battlefield Bad Company 2 knows how to balance the vehicles out more I think they're way more balanced here in uh, home front for sure and I heard they're supposed to be coming out with a home front too um, I haven't really did a whole lot of research on it but I haven't played this game enough to uh, I guess worry about getting home front too because I've been so much worried about you know uh, Battlefield 3 and of course Modern Warfare 3 coming out uh, the Call of Duty fanboy as it as it is as you're probably saying yeah he's a Call of Duty fanboy I am I'm it. So anyways, yeah, Homefront's a pretty fun game. And if you haven't played it, go out and rent it. Um, more than likely you'll like it. And it's a good game to get away from Black Ops for sure. So anyways, um I guess I'll leave you guys with that and I'm gonna leave a link in the description about the frames per second. Uh, how Xbox, of course, the game runs better, the truth finally comes out, and this is something recent. Uh, a lot of you guys probably hadn't seen it. So, I'm going to leave y'all with a little beastie music, because you know I like music, and I know you do too. And make sure y'all rate, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to y'all later.